to celebrate one year on YouTube. In this video, we are opening up every single Sword and Shield set, starting from Sword and Shield base, going all the way through to the brand new set, Brilliant Stars. Which set is gonna give us the best pulls? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, what's up guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna say a massive thank you to everybody who has supported me in my very first year here on YouTube. It has been a crazy year and things have just getting started. Let's be honest, the first year down, many more to come. And you guys have just been amazing from all of the likes, the comments, the support, the subscribers, everything. We've got members, people jumping into the live streams, people in Discord. This community is growing day by day and you guys are the sole reason for it. And I really enjoy making videos. So in this video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So we're going to be opening up every single booster pack from the sword and shield era set so far so we don't include astral radiance but we got all the others and it's quite surprising how many sets there are i was actually quite surprised but before we get into that guys i'm going to be giving away some of the hits that we pull in today's video so if you would like to enter the giveaway make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on and comment down below which is your favorite sword and shield set say that 10 times fast Ooh, that is difficult all right guys let's get into it right we're starting it off with the sword and shield base set pack now this goes for around four dollars or four pounds so let's get into it can sword and shield be the first set to deliver us anything good this is the set that started off we do have a white code card so we could get something decent in here guys so let's go and check it out one two three four Let's give it a tap for good luck. Let me know, guys, what do you think is going to be the best set? Is it going to be Brilliant Stars? Is it going to be Evolving Skies? Well, there's only going to be one way to find out, and they're going to battle it all out today. Gossy Fleur, Galarian Zigzagoon, Krabby looking super cute right there, Ferroseed, Roselia. We have a Reverse Aurora Energy, and... We have a Professor's Research Hollow. So we did get a hollow hit in Sword and Shield Base. That has got a score on the boards for Sword and Shield Base. Right, let's have a look what Rebel Clash has to give to us. Next up, Rebel Clash. This is a set that I haven't opened much of. Same with Sword and Shield Base, but these are, you know, can have some really good pulls in here. Anyway, there is the code card for you all. And let's get into it. One, two, three, four. Let's give it a tap for good luck. Rebel Clash, can you beat sword and shield base so far we have a hollow but nothing else so far a dan carcoal heat more growl lift that's a really nice artwork impidimp bunnel b phantom galarian far-fetched we have a reverse hollow beware watch out for the bear and then a probo pass regular rare so rebel clash did not deliver now let's move on to Darkness Ablaze. Okay, Darkness Ablaze. Now this is a cool set. Now the one thing with Darkness Ablaze though is you really want to pull that Charizard VMAX. That is the card that everybody wants to see. So we have a green code card. Although Darkness Ablaze is a set where if you do get green code cards, you can get pulls. I've seen it before. I've done it before. And let's see if we can get it in this one anyway. But like I say, Darkness Ablaze right now is around $4 a booster pack and about £4 here. It is a set that hasn't have really had much of a reprint like booster boxes, but been obviously in the celebration sets. Pansir, Dino, Q font. We have a Vanillish Reverse and a Swanner Regular Rare. So Nightwood didn't deliver anything good for us so far, guys. We haven't got a single big hit apart from a Hollow. Okay, next up we have a big set here, Champions Path. Now this is one of the holiday sets that is Charizard or kind of bust. Now you do guarantee a hollow in every pack in Champions Path. This set's becoming super expensive, guys. But if you do pull one of the Charizards, you are on to an absolute winner. They are both, the Shiny Charizard and the VMAX are on ridiculous amounts of money if you do pull them. But can we get it in this video? That'd be amazing. Fire. Is it going to be a fire pack, guys? Arbok. BD. It's been a while since I've opened Champions Path. Machoke, Carvana, Galarian Zigzagoon, Kakuna Matata, Roly Coly, Trubbish. We have a Galarian Lanoon and 
a Marnie Hollow. So we did get the guaranteed hollow. It is a Marnie, but nothing so far. Champions Path didn't deliver. Next up, Vivid Voltage. Now I do love myself some Vivid Voltage. This is a great set to open, guys. You've got the Amazing Rare subset. You've got the chance to get the Rainbow Pikachu, which is worth an absolute ton of money if you do pull it. It is a very hard card to pull. These tend to go for around four to five dollars right now, and they're about four to five pounds here in the UK. They are quite tricky to get hold of. It's getting harder and harder to get Vivid Voltage, guys, so it is always great fun to open. Sir Chester Bath, come on, we haven't had a hit yet. Hit him on top. We've had a few hollows, but nothing so far. Chewtle, Ryolu, Eevee, I love the artwork of that. C Dot, we have an Electrike. We have a Trumbeak Reverse and another Hollow. We have a Snorlax Hollow. We haven't had a hit other than a Hollow so far in this video, guys. So what is going to be the set that takes it? On to Shining Fates now. Absolutely love Shining Fates. One of my favorite all-time sets to open. Now, this set has had a recent reprint. So packs are dropping in price. But nonetheless, this is a great set to open. You've got the Baby Shinies. You've got the Full Art Shinies. You could pull the Charizard. You've got Amazing Rares in there. Absolutely crazy. We get the Charizard in this video, guys. Then Shining Fates is definitely winning. So far, we've only had Hollows. So it could be anything yet. Yeah, Eluxio, Rusted Sword, Bull Guy, Grookey, Morpeko, preparing up some drinks for the boys. We have a Spinarak, a, a Buizel, a, a Rowlet. A reverse hollow shinx. Come on, we want something good. Finally, we have a hit. Shining Fates coming through with the Crobat V. So, so far, Shining Fates is winning with the Crobat V. That is a nice hit right there. Right, on to Battle Stars. Now, if this wins the pack battle of the sets of Sword and Shield, I will laugh. But so far, Shining Fates is winning with the V card. So guys, can we pull something good? Right, Battle Stars. We want something good from you. Your pull rates aren't great. Pergoly, Honchcrow, Seedra, Cherubi, Parachute, Chimeco, Ponage. Oh, we got Horsey. I love the artwork of Horsey. I love it. Reverse Hollow Stone Jorna and... Just a mind shout regular rare. So battle styles, as expected, kind of didn't really deliver. It is the you know hard set to get pulls on. Right, on to Chilling Rain, also known as Chilling Pain. I absolutely highly rate this set. This is a great set to buy and to open, but not when we pull a green code card. So I don't expect us to get anything good so far. So far, guys, in this video, we've only managed to pull a V card, and that was from Shining Fate. So you know, one of these sets has to deliver something good. A Reboot, Porygon 2, Lucky Energy, Vinipede, Snow Runt, Aaron, Score Bunny, Grookey. We have a, a Reverse Hollow Galarian Chest Plate and a Bennett Regular Rare. So Chin Rain didn't deliver either so far. Shining Fates is in the lead. Moving on, guys, to Evolving Skies. Now, this is the set that everybody loves. And we know that this is probably the best set in the Sword and Shield era. But today, can we find anything good in these packs? That's what we want to see. There's a code card for you all. And let's hope if we can get something good. One, two, three, four. So far, Shining Face is winning with just a single V card. So nothing good so far. A Lantern. Ursharing, Crossle, Chin Chow, Chin Chow, Dino, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Gossy Fleur, Dream Ball Reverse, and a Stout and Regular Rare. So again, Evolving Skies didn't deliver either. Shining Fates, it's doing well. Okay, guys, right on to celebrations. Now, this is a great set to pick up as well and to open. You can get really good pull rates in this. So let's see what we can get. There is the code card. Okay, let's get into it. 
Do we think that this will take it? Let's see, Alugia, Growlon, a Yovatal Hollow, and a Full Art Pikachu. So we did manage to pull something from Celebrations. Will I say this is better than Crobat V? Mm, I would probably say they're about the same. This is probably on par with a V card for sure, but Celebrations did deliver with the Full Art Pikachu. On to Fusion Strike. We are coming down to the last two sets in the Sword and Shield era so far. We're doing this before Astral Radiance does come out. So hopefully we can get something good in Fusion Strike. So far, guys, we haven't had many hits in this video. A V and the Full Art Pikachu from Celebrations. So it's not looking good. We had a few hollows, but Cook, Morgrim, Snubble, Geodude, Sizzlipede, Clef Key, Pansage. Oh, that's a really nice looking reverse golem. I do like that. That's nice. And a Toxicroak regular rare. So Fusion Strike doesn't give us anything good either. Wow. Okay, it's all up to you now, Brilliant Stars. Can you take the crown? You are the last set that we are going to open in today's video. Out of all of the sets in the Sword and Shield era that are released so far, we have a code card for you all. Can we get something good in Brilliant Stars? Can Brilliant Stars take it? This is the set that has the Trainer Gallery, so it's a great set to open, guys. Probably one of the best sets to open alongside of Olven Skies, in my opinion. But everybody loves this set. But is it going to deliver? Well, we'll see. Parachute. Kindler. Come on, we want something good. Collapse Stadium. Farfetched, Duskull, Grimer, Shinx, Bidoof, the legendary Bidoof. We have a Clefairy Reverse, so we didn't get anything in the Trainer Gallery slot. And a Lucario Hollow. So, wow, okay, so we did get a lot, we did get a lot of hollows, Lucario Hollow right there. But which set takes the crown, guys? So there you have it. Shining Fates and Celebrations both got really great pulls in the Crobat V and the Pikachu full art from Celebrations. Which set did the best? Well, in my opinion, I'd probably say Shining Fates in all honesty. But apart from that, guys, we didn't get that great. We got a ton of hollows and a few dud packs, but we did get two hits. So these two will be given away to one lucky winner. And don't forget, guys, if you want to enter the giveaway to win these two cards, all you need to do is smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment down below what was your favorite set out of the Sword and Shield era? That's what I want to know. Mine, personally, would probably have to be Evolving Skies, followed by Shining Fates. Absolutely love both of those sets. Those are my two favorites, definitely to open, for sure. That is it from me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, you guys are legends, and I'll see you all in the next one.